the worst thing that will happen to you is to say, I used to. I hate that word. I used to be rich. I used to be okay. I pray for you that Ichabod will not be your case. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will not live by past glory. I, I, I used to sing. I used to lay hands. I used to do. No. God will continue consistently use you in the name of Jesus. So if, if you have the opportunity, you want to choose where you are from. But it's not in your place to choose who becomes your father or to choose who becomes your mother. God placed you in that woman's womb for a reason. Come on, am I complicated there? You might be born from a poor family. That is why you are there. Make your family rich. Am I talking to somebody? You might be born from a sick family. God put you there because you came with light that your family may experience light. So stop complaining and start making things to happen. You know, we have different set of people in this world. People that watch things happen and people that make things happen. You watch things happen, let's see. But there are people that, will, let's make this happen. Even in the church, there are people that watch and there are some people that make things happen. In the family, there are people that watch. There are people that make things happen. May God use you to make things happen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Listen, child of God, you are not just a light, but you are the light of God and the light of this world. Anywhere you enter, you influence. Am I communicating? So there's something about you. There's a reason you were born. There's a reason you are where you are. Stop complaining and discover why you are in that place. The moment you discover your purpose, the joy of your salvation will return. Until you discover why you are where, in, where you are, you find yourself complaining, especially when things is not working the way you want them to work. The reason why many people fall off is because they don't have understanding of their purpose. The Bible says, he that falleth in the days of adversity, his strength is small. What strength? The knowledge in God's word. Your ability to understand your purpose. So when you don't understand your purpose, you get to a point like, where am I going to? I'm confused. But when you are sure of where you are going to, you don't stop. 